He's really happy. He doesn't know we're not gonna eat him yet. So he's like still really scared. But we're not gonna eat him. What's up, P Nation? Today is an exciting day. We are taking you to Leah's home state of Maryland, and we are also going to Virginia. Today is going to be a fun filled, packed day. First, we are crabbing. Uh -huh. We are here in Crisfield, Maryland, and then we're going to go get some ice cream in Virginia on the island of Chincoteague. And then yes. after that, we're going to see some wild ponies. You've ever heard of the um, Misty of Chincoteague? It's like this really famous book. You might have heard of Chincoteague. <laughs> <laughs> So, but anyways, we're gonna show you a different side of America that most people don't see, yeah. and that's the eastern shore this of Maryland and Virginia. Like we said, we are going crabbing today, and there are many ways you can go crabbing. So what we have here are pretty much chicken wings, raw chicken wings, attached to a rope. And we're gonna throw this rope over the side, and we're gonna slowly bring it up, and they should be just hooked on with their claws. So let's see if this works. This is where people normally bring in their crabs, get them weighed, and then get paid. I know. <laughs> All right, our line has been in the water for about five minutes, and truth be told, I'm not sure how long you're supposed to wait, but we're gonna see if we have any hooked on. Gotta bring it up really slowly. Because when the crabs get towards the surface, they realize that they're being taken out of the water and they'll, un you know, like detach. So you gotta go real slow. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Yay, we did it! It's our first little guy! Hello, hello, how are you? at how successful <laughs> we were in actually capturing a crab, but it is like hooked on to my glove really tight. And somehow we have to get him out of this net that he's really tangled in, but we are so successful. He's a beautiful blue crab. Okay, so we finally got him out of his net. He's really happy. He doesn't know we're not gonna eat him yet. So he's like still really scared. But we're not gonna eat him. He's got a little barnacle right here. We haven't named him yet. He's really hardy. He is, he's cute, I like him. He's so pretty, blue crabs. So we were pretty successful. We caught one, we almost caught two, but it hit the side of the net and it fell off. So I would say that this trip was actually quite successful because I didn't expect to catch any. Hey, do I just, do I work? Yeah, let's drop. Bye.
do here in Chincoteague is stop over at the McDonald's because they have a pen right next door where you can feed wild horses. Now technically these aren't wild, but there are plenty of wild horses actually out on the marsh next to the beach and there's some folklore behind it all. So some people say that a Spanish ship, you know, crashed off the side of this coastline and the ponies swam over and they started inhabiting the marsh. Another source says that there were farmers over here in the town and when the tax collectors would come over, they'd push all of their cattle and all their horses to the marshland so they would be hidden away so they wouldn't get taxed for them. And that some of those horses escaped while they were over there and started inhabiting the island. And you know, the population grew and grew and grew. So we don't know exactly what happened, but there's, you know, there's speculation over it, but it's really cool because they're actually wild ponies. The people of Chincoteague, or the, the fire department here, they go over and they round them up a few times in the year to give them vaccinations and shots and making sure that they're okay. And they have some on display here, just so, you know, for tourist purposes. But it's really cool. So as you can see, these aren't like full-size horses. They're ponies, so they're kind of small. <laughs> oh, he's talking. <laughs> see, they're, they're smaller than regular horses, and they're just so darn cute. And once a year in the summertime the fire department will actually round them up they'll swim them across the bay here and auction some of the babies off just to make sure that the population doesn't grow too large you can actually buy one of these Chincoteague ponies so now we're gonna head towards the beach go through the marsh and see if we can see any wild ones <laughs> I found them and it's so cool to see those birds on top of them eating the bugs off of them because in the marsh, mosquitoes are rampant. Made it to the beach. I hope no horses are on here, but they could have definitely swam across the channel. So that is always an option on this beach. And we are gonna swim for about an hour and then we're gonna show you our favorite ice cream spot. It is amazing. Island Creamery! They make all their ice cream in small batches. There are so many different flavors, and as far as I'm concerned, they have the best brownie sundae in America. So Let's go check it out. I think we have seven different flavors. This is my brownie sundae, which I thought was really big until Caroline ordered, I don't even know what that is, but it's a banana sundae without bananas, and coffee and chocolate, and I cannot wait to dig in. I don't even know, I think I watched her put stuff on this, but I have no idea. I think it's caramel, hot fudge, chocolate chips, pecans, whipped cream, cherry, and she put some toffee pieces on there. And the ice cream is coffee, so this is a lot of different flavors together. It's like the warm brownie with all the mushiness you need, and the ice cream contrasts with that. And then the hot fudge on top of the ice cream is even better than that. And then you have the crunchy pieces from the chocolate chips, and then oh, the pecans. It's just, I think this is my favorite dessert that I've ever tried on this channel. And oh, uh, if I could eat this every day, I would, but I'd be this good. If you ever come here and go to Island Creamery, you have to get some of their homemade flavors. Well, all of it's homemade, but some of them are so cute. Like Marsh Mud is like the most dense chocolate ice cream we've ever had. So we're out here on the marsh and their pony tracks. It's kind of like moose tracks, but it's vanilla because of the sand and peanut butter cups for the pony tracks. It's so cute. So that was the perfect ending to a perfect Eastern Shore day. I'm so full of ice cream. <laughs> that was amazing.
<laughs> it was so nice to have you with us and show you what we do all the time when we come see Leah. Go Yay! crabbing, feed the horses, look at the Mars. It's just swim an in the everyday ocean. thing. It is just an everyday <laughs> thing when we're here. And then the, finish the day off with ice cream and finally get to show most of you guys Island Creamery, which is mm -hmm. one of our favorite ice creameries mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Thanks. <laughs>